Mike, welcome to Germany. Thank you, sir. I'm very happy that you made your way again this far from um, Florida, I think you come. That's right. I'm, um, I'm happy to be here. Yes, and uh, we are very um, impressed and also um, very happy that you um, support us here live and ask uh, us the questions you want to know from our forms projects and we can ask the development for our questions and you will share. This is your time. This yes. is your time. I'm excited. We read in the uh, internet that um, in 2024, um, Forms um, 12, uh, Forms 14 um, wants uh, to be released. WebLogic uh, 1412 is um, announced for uh, 2024, and uh, we know already it uh, should be a long-term release, and it will have a database client, um, a new version. What can you tell us about Forms 14 from the actual development? Oh, stages? there's lot, lots of great stuff going on uh, across the entire Fusion middleware stack. Um, everything from WebLogic all the way down to the low-level components like Forms are all going to get updates. Um, as you mentioned, WebLogic Server uh, will be the, the application server of the stack. And uh, we're looking for or, uh, Oracle HTTP server, Oracle Forms, Oracle Reports. Um, pretty much everybody in the Fusion Middleware stack is working on 14.1.2 with some like, incredibly exciting improvements. So uh, I'm excited. It, it's going to be a great release. Can you tell us the benefits of a long-term release? I mean, the database has also long-term releases. And right. 23 is a long-term release. So we have something like in common. 23 years uh, released and forms is very likely to release too. How many years support could we expect from a long-term release? Uh, we anticipate right now that the release will see the similar dates to what you saw in earlier versions, meaning five years of premier support and three years of extended support. And then as needed, we'll provide patches and, and updates uh, as we go along. Yeah, it is already announced that it will get a um, 23 database client. So would you be able in forms to develop PL SQL uh, with version 23? That is the plan. So uh, forms and reports both will be operating on what we call the database client. So any new functionality that uh, is applicable to client side PL SQL will be uh, programmatically possible in, in the client side functionality like forms or reports or whatever. So yeah, tw 23 is the planned version. Uh, once we deliver. Would, will that Forms version also work with Oracle 19? Will there be compa compatibility to it? Uh, we have not officially decided if we're going to certify against older database versions, but just technically off the top of my head, it likely will work just fine. Mike, version first, 14 is coming and we are uh, looking forward. And in the year 2019, we did a great petition with like 150 of big forms customers and we asked Oracle to renew the, the, the face of forms like the client side and um, can we expect a facelift of forms with version 14 and can you give us some sneak previews what can we expect you, you yes you you did do uh, organize a petition and it was very well received on our side um, that information was taken back into our development team where the the team and I went back and reviewed a lot of what was requested. But at the same time, we also took that opportunity to look at what the industry was doing, what type of user interface was expected for other application technologies. So with, with that in mind, we went back and were able to successfully implement, I think, quite a lot of what you would see, for example, in a web application. Uh, hopefully, you'll be able to now uh, benefit from that functionality in Forms. So that functionality is planned for, for, for 14. However, it will be on the application owner, the application developer, to implement it. Yeah. So it, it won't just automatically show up. We, we don't want to inadvertently break anyone's application or yeah. change it it's on you to incorporate it. But we've incorporated a tremendous amount of UI improvements. So hopefully as customers consume the new version, they will take advantage of those enhancements and turn their older looking applications into something more okay. appropriately modern. So I'm really excited about that as well. I, I hate to keep saying I'm excited, but 
Um, the team has done such an outstanding job in developing it. I think it's going to be really cool. Can you give us a bit more details? How much effort do you have to bring in your existing Forms application to bring life to that new features? Do you have pluggable Java components that you have to add to all your applications? Do you need WebUtil to do that? Or will it be native um, enhancements very easily to switch on and switch on? Can you give us an example maybe? For I that? can. So everything that we've implemented is all native. So there will be no need for Java plugins. You could still do Java plugins, or not Java plugins, but Java beans or pluggable Java components. Uh, if there's functionality we're not providing you that you want, you could still do that. The new features that we have implemented are all native to the product. You're going to implement them exactly as you would any other um, in, in, the, in the forms technology. Um, imagine that what we did was um, we, we took functionality of each of the objects, for example, a text field, something that you type text in, and we've, we've given it new life. We've given it uh, properties that now allow it to do more than just show text. We've um, introduced ways that you could have um, prompts for those fields more readable to the user or buttons that have, have life where you roll a mouse over, over top of the button and the button changes in some, some visual uh, aspect. So, Again, we looked at a lot of web pages uh, as our starting point, and we took the petition that was provided by the DOAG group, and together what we came up with, I think, was a, is a pretty good uh, set of improvements that hopefully everyone will benefit from. Will the uh, Enterprise Business Suite also benefit from the new ideas? They are now on Forms 10, I think. Will they shift to a new version of Forms 2? Um, I can't speak specifically for them, but what I can say is they are working on um, some prototypes of building on top of Forms 12 and even on top of Forms 14. So I suspect that if their prototyping turns out to be successful and um, deliverable, they likely will, will deliver it sometime not long after we deliver um, our standalone version of Forms. One big request many Forms developers ask for is the REST servers within Forms. Mm -hmm. I know you have announced that there might be a REST service also available in Forms and that you can generate something like a REST service or you can, you can base a block uh, on, a, on a table, on a database table, but also on a REST um, API. Uh, can you give us some, some details about that? Will that come with Forms 14 and what will it change? Can you access non-Oracle uh, information? Can you access a block uh, mm -hmm. anywhere uh, in the internet? So the functionality to make REST requests and retrieve data has been there for quite a while. However, the only way to do it was to write your own Java code and incorporate that Java code in your application. What we're planning for 14 is that through built-in PL SQL, you could make a similar request. So no more need to write Java code. You'll write using the same PL SQL styling you've always done in the past. And yes, you will be able to reach out to third party uh, REST services and retrieve data or update data or whatever the case, insert data. Uh, so that that's gonna be extremely powerful because that really gives you the ability, and, and I, I hope it doesn't happen, but it gives you the ability to sever ties with the Oracle database. Uh, if you wanted to, you could get all of your data through REST services or even Oracle REST data services, ORDS. So if, if you didn't want to use an Oracle database anymore directly, in theory, you could do it. So you could make a forms application with some blocks, with some canvases, but no database access and do all the part with the REST services. That sounds interesting. In, in theory, you'll be able to do that. Um, it's, it's a pretty powerful addition that we're looking at introducing. Um, it, it, it's going to give you a tremendous amount of functionality in that, that REST world where in and of itself is so very complicated. Maybe.